This video is going to just quickly show the tiller version of my spreadsheet bundle, how it works, how it's different than the basic one, um, and just a really quick overview of how to use it. So if we look at the spreadsheet, the first thing we need to make sure we do is input all of this data here. Then we can go over to the annual budget tab. I've created this example here. Um, it's just a random example that I've made up. You'd need to create an annual budget. This obviously will take a little while, but it's really important for the purpose of this, this spreadsheet to make sure that you complete this the best that you can. To set up your Tiller spreadsheet, you'll need to download the Tiller Excel add-on, which you can get from their website, tillerhq.com. There are instructions if you purchase this um, on the basic instructions about where to go to download this and how to use Tiller. Once you have the add-on, you can go to Data and then this Tiller Money Open Tiller tab on the Data menu. So that's going to load. It's going to have you log into your Google account that you've used to sign up with Tiller. So I've selected my account. After I'm logged in, I can link the workbook. I'll just hit link. Once it's linked, you can click the configure button under linked account and choose which accounts you want to link to your workbook. Because this workbook does include um, your net worth and all your budget accounts, you probably want to select pretty much all of the accounts that you set up in Tiller. So to set up these accounts and link them, you do go to tillerhq.com and set them up there. So I'm going to choose um, just one of my cards just to kind of show a quick example. And then I'll hit confirm. Now that that's there, you'll see that there is an update available for both transaction and balance history. So we'll hit update. This will take a while if you have a lot of accounts. And I'd probably suggest if you have a lot of accounts like I do, you just select a few at a time to update. <clears throat> So you might select your, your checking and savings accounts, update it, and then go back and select your investment accounts or your loan accounts. So we'll wait a minute for that to update and then I'll show you those tabs. Just as a quick note also, if you do look at the transaction tab while it's updating, it will possibly look a little nonsensical and the order won't be the same. You just have to wait for it to totally update and it will reorder it and it will um, format everything. So don't be worried if it looks a little weird during the update process. So now that this information is all pulled in, you can see the random stuff I put on my credit card. You can go ahead to the category column and categorize each of these. So iTunes might be like a recreation and entertainment. There's a lot of categories, so it will take a few minutes. Um, but once you've started using this, you won't have to use the drop down box. You can just start entering it. Um, for example, this next one, I could just start typing that and then it will automatically pull that description in. So I'll just fill out a couple of these. Um, any of the payments, I would naturally have my checking account that I paid off this, so that would be um, transfer between accounts for any of the payments. So I'm not going to select that here because it will mess it up, but if I did have a checking account, it would show here $44.98 payment to the credit card and then negative $44.98 coming from my checking account. So just be a wash. The great thing about this Tiller version is this is like an all-in-one spreadsheet to manage everything from your cash flow and budgeting all the way up to um, your taxes, your insurance, everything. So everything you need to manage your money is in this one spreadsheet. So since we're creating this for 2019, um, Tiller does pull in a lot of past data. So we can go through and we can delete these, anything from before January. And then I'm gonna pretend um, that instead of this being Apple iTunes, it was salaries. And we're gonna change the category um, we're actually going to need quite a few categories here. So following the example, if you saw it in my basic version, 
we're going to add um, a bunch of columns so that we can break this up. So the net pay is $35.94, which is kind of how it will be pulled in. But we want to break it out between um, the gross pay and the salary deductions. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste um, those descriptions here after I've added those columns. And then just for standard purposes, I'm going to highlight them yellow. You don't have to do that. And we know it's, so it's 3594. We're going to actually add the, the gross amounts. So I'll do that real quick. And then if we double check it, we'll be able to see, hopefully, that it adds up to 35.94. So it's a little bit of a pain to have to go through and um, kind of break those out. I do believe that Tiller is working on like a split category thing that will make it a little easier. You don't have to actually add them yourself. And you can um, copy and paste. Oh. Can copy and paste these descriptions here. That'll be important to have the date there. It does save a lot of time that Tiller will import all of your transactions for you. So I'll show you if you go to annual cash flow at the end of the month or even if you want to check in the middle of a month you can hit actual and it will pull in all the data. So you can see this actual data is pulling in from the transaction we just input. And then we have a little bit of recreation and entertainment, so we can take a look at that. The rest is blank for now. Um, this will need to be filled in manually. Let's see. And you'll see the recreation and entertainment there. So it just automatically pulls in everything. You always want a full year worth of data. So that's because of um, the tax tabs and um, some of the other tabs that allow you to calculate life insurance, emergency fund, that kind of thing based on a full year of data. So if we go back, we can look at now the account balances, which um, are pulled in by Tiller. So these, we can go ahead and um, delete anything prior to January again. And then if we go back up, We're going to copy and paste the exact account name onto this spreadsheet here. Classify them the net worth. This is just a one-time kind of setup thing. This is a credit card. And then we should be able to pull in um, today's balance if it's available. You'll see here the latest date that my credit card was pulled in was the 14th and today um, when I'm recording this is actually the morning of the 16th. So just for this example I'm going to change the date here. And this will automatically update for my current balance. If you have all of your accounts possible linked you'll have quite a few here and it might take a few seconds to update these. But as you can see we can close this. Um, it will update based on these dates. So you want to make sure that every single one, um, it hasn't been a problem in the past with the, the dates, usually it updates every day, but you might see a couple like, for example, this credit card that if you need to just go and update the date because it probably hasn't changed. So you can just check your account real quick or, or uh, most likely it will update for every day. So when it gets to be past March 31st, all of your balances will automatically be pulled in. So you can copy and paste all those, um, again, from the balance history. Any accounts that you can't track with Tiller, so for example, um, your home value, if you include that in your net worth, which I do recommend, um, the value of automobiles, any loans that um, for some reason you're not able to pull in through Tiller, you can add to manual accounts here. And then just make sure you add net worth uh, classifications. If you go back to the current overview tab, you can see any amounts that you've entered as actual go in this year to date. 
So you can kind of monitor how much you've actually had year to date versus the estimated totals and then where your money's going, just um, like the basic version. So this tiller version, I think, is a good option for people that um, aren't as focused on the budgeting. It does have an annual budget, but it's really not focused on comparing your budget to your actual expenses. So it's really good for someone that's um, wanting to track their expenses, but isn't needing to monitor it really closely and has, you know, an overspending problem. So it's kind of the person that that's past just the budgeting aspect and wants to kind of go beyond with their money to track it and then just really easily be able to pull in all of their data in an automated way. And of course, that loves spreadsheets. If you don't love spreadsheets, this isn't the thing for you. So of course, this spreadsheet does um, do a lot more than just this budgeting aspect that I've been showing and the, the tracking net worth. Um, with Tiller, if you look at my other video that shows um, the general spreadsheet, you can see um, how it you're able to manage your debt, um, calculate your taxes, all the rest of that. So this um, it's the same with the Tiller and the other version, so it's not covered in this video here. If you have any questions um, about Tiller or the, the spreadsheet, I'd love to hear from you in the comments, or you can email me at contact at makingyourmoneymatter.com.